Poznan, Poland. So I'm still here in Poland. This morning I took the train from Wrocław to Poznan, which is about two hours north. I am here currently in Poznan's Cathedral Island and I got here about an hour ago. So, uh, well, to Poznan. <laughs> and uh, i'm going to explore cathedral island today and we'll see what else we get up into but tomorrow i think it's gonna be the bulk of my sightseeing because uh thursday the weather is supposed to be kind of bad again but anyway welcome if you don't know who i am my name is katie i am a solo female backpacker i am currently on my fourth backpacking trip in europe six overall and i share travel vlogs and travel tips for solo travelers and introverted travelers and travelers who are over the age of 30. So if that sounds like something you would enjoy, please subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post new videos. I try to post at least once a week. But anyway, I'm just gonna sit here for a few minutes, just kind of relax, because that a little bit of a stressful morning. And then we're gonna go into the cathedral to check it out and see what is inside other than obviously cathedral, churchy things, so. Let's, let's go. The Poznan Cathedral is one of the oldest churches in Poland and is actually the oldest Polish cathedral dating from the 10th century. It includes the Ducal Palace, which was excavated by archeologists in 1999. So that's pretty cool. It sustained many fires over the years, but the last great one during the Battle of Poznan in 1945 caused the cathedral to actually have to be rebuilt but it went back to the gothic style and reopened in 1956. so now i'm about to go into the broma poznania we're still trying polish we're not great don't come at me but it basically, it's an mu interactive museum with the history of Cathedral Island here. I figured because the weather kind of keeps going between nice and sunny and, well, cloudy. So I figured it'd be a good thing to do and to gain a little bit more history here. I'm not a big museum person, but this feels, I don't know, interesting. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna fix my hair. We're gonna go inside, I'll show you, and let's see what it's all about, because that's pretty good reviews online, actually. So the Brahma Poznania, Poznania, however you say it, I'm so sorry, is an interactive heritage museum outlining the history of Cathedral Island, and it's actually really cool. I didn't have super high hopes for it, but it was actually incredible and I didn't get to spend as much time as I wanted to just because I had other things I had to do. But it completely outlines the history of the people in Cathedral Island and how Cathedral Island became such an important part in the city and in Poland overall. So I definitely recommend a visit. It is 28 Zolti, which is about seven US dollars to visit and it contains an audio guide you can bring around with you for Cathedral Island. So definitely recommend. So I just got done with the museum. I think I'm just gonna walk around here just a little bit more and then head back to my hostel for the evening. Got some stuff I wanna do. Um, but yeah, it's been a nice little day exploring the island here, Cathedral Island. It's um, very quiet. Like there's no one here so anyway uh i will pick you up probably tomorrow and we'll do more exploring hopefully the sun comes out like it's supposed to so i feel like every time i come to poland it's very overcast but anyway I'm not complaining it's actually, it's actually cool it's not hot which is nice <laughs> so anyway pick you all up tomorrow more than likely
next morning, I went on a walk over in Citadel Park. It's a really nice place just to chill out, especially if you have a beautiful day like I did. I definitely recommend just walking. It's a little outside the city, but I definitely think you should go and check it out. Hello. So I'm about out of the dead end, but hello from my second full day here in Poznan or Poznan, uh, Poland. I am just getting done walking through Citadel Park. Park. Uh, it's a great big park here in Poznan and it's not a very good view of it but it is a really beautiful park. Today is a nice day. Yesterday was very cold, today is very hot and tomorrow is going to get very cold again. <laughs> so yeah, temperature. But anyway, um, I'm about to head back into the city center and explore there but yeah, Citadel Park is a really nice place. It's a little outside of the city. Um, it's not too far, but I definitely recommend if the weather is nice to take a stroll. I was here for about an hour walking around, but now I think I'm going to go to the city center and see what else there is. So let's go explore. I also feel like if you wanted to come out here for a run, it's a really great place to run because there's a lot of paved and also a little bit of dirt tracks. Um, I personally did not run here this morning because it's a bit far from where I'm staying. But if you're staying over on this side of the city and you want to go for a run or, or walk or whatever, definitely, uh, I definitely recommend it. Vlogging on this phone is not great because it's older and it keeps washing out the background. So we just have to deal with it. So anyway, like I said, now I'm going to go into the city center and explore. After walking around the park for a bit, I headed back more towards the city center and I wanted to go check out the merchants' houses. However, as you can see, there was a ton of construction going on. They're repairing the brickwork on the main square there. So unfortunately, I really couldn't get a great view of it. That was my fault for not knowing that that was happening before, but still definitely worth checking out. And hopefully when you visit, you'll be able to actually take some really pretty photos of the merchant houses because they are a huge highlight in Poznan. Then I headed over to the Imperial Castle, which doesn't look like much from the outside, but it's actually really full of a ton of history. So the building was built under German rule in 1910, and it kind of passed through a lot of different hands before eventually falling into the hands of Adolf Hitler and Nazi Germany. So when Poland was annexed by Nazi Germany in 1939, the German occupiers decided to transform the castle into Adolf Hitler's residence. And they made many changes within the rooms of the castle and also built a balcony with an electric heated floor that he could go out and make speeches. So the ironic thing is while they put all of this work into this castle and transforming it on the inside hitler actually never stepped foot inside never used it and never saw it completed so after that eventually the castle was actually given back to the city and is now used as a center of culture for Poznan, so you can see various movies and art galleries, etc., in the castle. So, definitely recommend going and checking it out. It is actually pretty interesting and you learn a lot. And there weren't a ton of people there, so I think it's kind of one of those hidden gem things that I think you should visit. The next morning, I just kind of walked around a bit. Uh, I had a couple of plans to go to the Croissant Museum and to also see the Poznan goats. So I just took an e leisurely morning walking around and just soaking up my last full day in Poland. I'm just doing a couple of quick little things and then I'm gonna head back to the hostel to do laundry pack, etc. I look really bad. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, it's kind of a dreary day again. I feel like every time I come to Poland, the weather is like 80% bad. So anyway, um, but I'm still having a great time here. It's just I wish the weather was a little bit nicer, but 
I don't know, maybe it's just a Poland thing. But anyway, I am going to head off to the Croissant Museum, I think. And then that might be the last big thing I do. I'm going to do a couple errands, laundry, pack, chill out. I have a new video also going up that I need to finish the thumbnail and all that. But anyway, let's have a good last day here and let's go. On my way over to the Croissant Museum, I actually found this basilica. I just kind of popped in. I was the only one in there and it is absolutely stunning stunning inside. I don't know too much about this basilica, but it was kind of at the end of a street near the Collegium, so definitely go and check it out. Look at the ceiling. It is incredible. Then I headed over to the Croissant Museum, which is an absolutely adorable museum. Highly, highly recommend. It's probably one of my favorite things honestly I did on this entire trip just because it was so unexpected. So Posen is known for the St. Martin's croissants, which are a local pastry that date back over 150 years. The croissants can only be produced in this region in Poland with a very specific recipe. So actually when you go to this museum, you can't take any video of the actual demonstration of how they're made, but really cute museum. The croissants were incredible, highly recommend it and also you can see the goat show so there's a local legend that when the town hall was rebuilt after the great fire in poznan the clock for the town hall was ordered and they the town wanted to celebrate this important event so a feast was planned however the cook lost the deer that was going to be cooked for this so instead he kidnapped two goats and took them to the hall. However, then he lost the goats and the goats escaped and started fighting and everyone thought it was really funny once they were found because they were putting on this great show. So anyway, it's just kind of a cute thing. I definitely recommend you can just go check it out. But that was my time in Poznan and my time in Poland. I really enjoyed my time. I cannot wait to go back and Poland always holds a special place in my heart. But thank you so much for watching and remember to wander far and wander often. I am back in Germany. I am in the city of Berlin.